creating videos using Adobe Premiere Rush. Adobe Premiere Rush is a free mobile and desktop video editing app for creativity on the go. It is available on Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android. Wherever you are, from your phone to your computer, you can shoot, edit, and share high quality videos. There's also a premium version of the app available. This grants access to an additional library of music and sound effects, as well as premium titles, graphics, and overlays, the ability to export in 4K, and advanced audio and video editing. When you're making your videos in Rush, be careful to avoid the premium content indicated with a purple star, as you'll not be able to export your video without paying for a subscription. In this video, we will cover the basic features of the free version of Adobe Premiere Rush to help you create compelling, professional videos. To begin, open Premiere Rush and click Create a New Project. You will then be prompted to add media. Here you can choose any media, video, or audio clips from your computer or cloud storage applications. It's best to select your clips in the order you want them to appear in your final video, because when you press Create, Premiere Rush will automatically place your clips into a timeline. You could be done at this point. That's how simple it is. But chances are, you'll want to make some edits to your content in the timeline. The difference between your timeline on Premiere Rush and most other video editors is that the timeline is magnetic. This means that when you trim or move any of your clips, the rest of the clips on the timeline will move to automatically fill the space. The easiest way to trim a clip is to select it, then drag from either end to remove unwanted content. This can be useful to remove any extra footage such as setting up the camera at the beginning of a clip. To make sure you're getting the most accurate edits, you can always zoom in on your timeline by pressing the plus or minus keys on your keyboard or pinch to zoom on a mobile device. If you want to split any clips to maybe use one half near the beginning of your video and another near the end, or even to remove something from the middle of the clip, all you have to do is press the split your clip scissors icon on the left of your timeline or S on your keyboard. This will split the selected clip at the playhead. Now you are free to trim, move, or edit each section of your clip separately. If you want to change the order of any of your clips, all you have to do is select the clip you'd like to move and drag it to a new location on the timeline. Once you've finished trimming all your clips and arranging them in the correct order, you can begin applying creative edits. All the effects, graphics, and audiovisual editing tools are located in the menu bar on the right-hand side of Rush. Here we have Graphics, where you can add and customize pre-made titles, transitions, and overlay graphics. Effects, where you can add simple visual effects. Color, to add custom color correction or pre-made video filters. Speed, you can use to speed up or slow down portions of your video. Audio, where you can add your own music or choose from the Premiere Rush library, as well as edit the original volume of your video clips. And lastly, crop and rotate where you can change the size and orientation of any of your clips. The first thing we're going to do is fix our existing audio. To begin to work with the audio, click the Expand Audio button in the left-hand menu. This will make your audio waveforms more visible and easily editable. To edit the audio separate from the video, you can right-click on the clip and choose Separate Audio. From here, you can go into the audio editing menu on the right-hand side and make any changes. You can raise or lower your clip volume, mute it entirely, or make advanced edits based on the type of audio you have selected, be that a music track, a voice track, or other. To add some background music to your video, you can either click the Browse button in the audio menu, or you can click the blue plus sign in the top left corner. This is the Add Media button. You can use this at any time to add extra video clips, music, or pictures to your timeline. You can even use this button to record video or audio directly in the app. Select the music you'd like to use either from your phone or computer, or from the Premiere Rush library. You have four audio tracks available on your timeline, so feel free to add multiple songs or sound effects. To view and control your additional audio and video tracks, you can click on the Control Tracks button in the bottom left corner. Here you can mute, lock, or hide individual audio or video tracks. You can also record a voiceover right in the app. Just click the microphone button on your chosen track. A helpful feature in Premiere Rush is the Auto Duck option. In the audio menu, you can click on this with your background music selected, and Rush will automatically lower the volume of the music to more easily hear any voiceover clips. Next, we will explore some visual effects. Chances are, if you have multiple video clips in your timeline, 
you'll want to make them flow together nicely. This is where transitions come into play. There are two ways to add transitions in Rush. The first is the basic video transition that will blend two clips. Begin by selecting the clips you'd like to transition between. Go to the effects menu and choose a transition. If you simply click the chosen transition, it will apply the effect between all clips you've selected. You can also choose to drag the effect specifically to where you'd like it in the timeline. You can change the duration of the transition by dragging edges of the gray box that appears on your timeline or using the slider in the effects menu. The second way to add transitions is to use the graphics menu. Here you can browse motion graphic transitions as well as titles and video overlays. Use the drop down menu at the top of the pop up that appears on the left side of the screen to toggle between these categories. Utilize the search bar in the graphics pop up to easily find something that fits your vision. Choose your graphics, click add, and the graphic will appear in a separate video track at your playhead. Options will then appear in the right hand graphics menu where you can customize the colors, font size, and text size of each of the elements of your chosen graphic. If your title or graphic isn't where you want it to be on your screen, you can always click and drag it around on your video preview. The last two editing features you might want to explore are the color and speed menus. In the color menu, you can add presets and change their intensity using the bottom slider, or click the edit tab at the top of this menu and use more fine-tuned options to truly customize the color of your clips. Once you've made your color edits, you can click apply to all at the top of the menu to give all your clips the same treatment or even save those options as your own preset by clicking the three dots and choosing create preset. At any time, you are able to revert your video back to its original coloring by clicking reset to default in the top right corner of this menu. In the speed menu, you can speed up or slow down an entire clip or just a portion by using the range and range speed sliders. You can also drag the range selector directly on your chosen clip on your timeline. The ramp checkbox will make it so the speed gradually changes and the maintain audio pitch checkbox will prevent the audio from changing along with the video speed. Once you've explored all the editing features of Adobe Premiere Rush and you're happy with your video, it's time to export. To do that, click the share tab on the very top menu. Here you can save your video to your device or directly to social media or both at the same time. Name the file, choose where you want to save, then change any preset or advanced setting. Click export in the bottom right corner and you're done. From this point, you can share your finished videos with the world. Upload it to a video sharing site or just submit it to your professor, whichever is best for you to reach your intended audience. For additional information on creating videos, check out the video module on the learning portal.